Thank you, Jack, for this introduction. Uh, I have very few experience about bending a, a gastric bypass, but I've done a small literature review. We are in delay, so we will go uh, in a hurry. Though the same disclosure was on yesterday. Just to remind you that gastric bypass is not the best operation uh, in the world. It's a good operation that can promote good results, but we have 30 percent, we may have 30 percent of uh, weight regain after this operation. And uh, I think uh, the, the study of uh, uh, the Swedish uh, team has emphasized this in the long run at 10 years. We have done the same uh, remark in, uh, in my team in Montpellier. That's why you have seen yesterday that we move in a first intention operation to sleeve gastrectomy because you will see that it's not so easy to manage a failure of gastric bypass operation and it's more easy, it's more open to choose another option when you have a failure of, uh, of sleeve. Paris has uh, emphasized to the weight regain after, after sleeve, it was uh, in 1995. So uh, gastric bypass may fail. A great guy from Belgium has published uh, data. <laughs> it was uh, uh, 2012, Michel, uh, Michel, Jack, uh, nine years follow up after a runway gastric bypass, and you emphasize that uh, we may have a, a, a weight regain in a lot of patients, and you emphasize a very high rate of internal hernia too, because we speak about bypass, we speak about, about weight regain, but we, we speak very few about complication of bypass, and uh, I really think that the weight of uh, internal hernia is underestimated after uh, such a procedure. So this is uh, the data that you have uh, published with, uh, after two years, uh, this trouble of weight regain in uh, many patients. The explanation of weight regain uh, is not so easy to find, but most of the time we can have a dilatation of the pouch or of the anastomosis, and you have seen a very nice presentation from uh, Dr. Thompson with endoscopic approach, endoscopic treatment in order to, um, to decrease the size of the uh, gastrojejunostomy or the gastric pouch. However, it's not too easy to perform. Uh, we have done a randomized study in my team in Montpellier with the Apollo system, and uh, we have seen uh, very few good results uh, in the long run at one year, and some complication with perforation at the level of the gastrojejunostomy. So uh, the other option, if you have this uh, dilatation, is to try to decrease the size. You have several options. Uh, you can uh, reduce the gastrojejunostomy, you can do so the uh, endoscopic approach, or you can put a band, uh, adjustable or non-adjustable band, and uh, Almino Ramos told about uh, Macarena, but I'm not sure it will be really the, the option to, uh, uh, to treat the weight regain. What about the literature? Um, we know that gastric band uh, around the uh, uh, gastrojejunostomy may increase uh, the uh, weight loss in the long run. This is uh, an interesting study from uh, uh, Howard. Uh, and he has uh, emphasized a significant difference at 10 years comparing uh, banded bypass and non-banded bypass. The problem is that you increase the morbidity of the operation when you add such a device. Um, so when you look at the literature, there were two interesting papers. This one, uh, comparing all the type of uh, surgical revision uh, for failed gastric bypass. You see that the best option, as, as told the previous speakers, is to do a duodenal switch if you want to really have the best weight loss. The problem is that the only point is not the weight loss. The, the, the other point as quality of life, morbidity, mortality, as very important to uh, take in consideration. So um, you can propose Bypass, you can propose bending the pouch or pouch revision. You see that there is a, a huge difference between the weight loss after a duodenal switch and bending the pouch. However, the morbidity of the two procedures are so different, so uh, I think a lot of people prefer to decrease the risk of complication 
than to really have a, a, a huge weight loss. Very interesting study too. Uh, this study um, where after I think uh, it was 44 um, uh, failure of, um, of bypass, they put a, an adjustable gastric banding around. Um, you can see that the results are not good. However, you can see here that it's not good on failure of bypass, but it may be not so bad if it's a regain of weight after uh, a few years. So perhaps you really, have, you really have to evaluate the reason of the weight regain or, or of the failure before to choose uh, the type of procedure that you want to, to promote. ISMBS has published this uh, report. Um, you see that several options are, are feasible, but we don't have today in this data to give you advice, to give you level A of evidence. Uh, and I think you have to choose uh, in front of your patient and uh, in, with all the evaluation of the nutritional team that you have uh, around you. My conclusion is that weight regain is not rare after gastric bypass, 20 to 30 percent of patients. To add a bound around the gastric pouch is a, an option. It may be effective in, term, in, in case of weight uh, regain, but the main point for me is to know the reason of the failure, and please take a look at uh, the dietetic uh, uh, failure. Thank you very much for your attention, and I invite you another time to the, the conference in Montpellier, 28-29 of June for GERD and Biotech Surgery. Thank you very much.